All right, so I get I get questions every once in a while about my own personal pedal board and what I have on it and uh, what I choose to play and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of show that today. Um, uh, this has kind of been a work in progress. I've taken a lot of things off, put a lot of things on. I've, uh, demoed a bunch of stuff against each other just to try to see what I can come up with, what I want to put on here. So this is kind of like um, the best of what I've run up against each other. So uh, I know there's going to be some out there who won't agree with me. Whatever, this is what I like. This is my setup. Um, so I'm going to get really up close and personal with it. This is Ernie Ball, Ernie Ball Volume Pedal. Uh, it's one of the older ones. It's, uh, it's a volume pedal. I put it at the front of my chain because sometimes I like to take my overdrive uh, when it's full and I like to pull it halfway and I can really adjust um, uh, the amount of overdrive with the volume pedal. It goes from there to the Electro Harmonics LPB1 linear boost. I use this less as an overdrive boost and more as a signal boost for all of my effects, especially my clean effects. Um, it just it saturates the rest of my board with a really nice uh, clean straight line boost that causes the rest of the effects, the dynamics of all the effects. You can actually hear them all and it just it's really nice. From there, go over to the um, original Crybaby. This is an older one. This is not one of the newer ones. Uh, the new ones have the black um, label on the front with the silver Crybaby in the regular um, the font that everybody knows. This one has, if you can see it, the silver with that logo on it. So this is an older one. It isn't one of the newer ones. Um, it's a classic. I like it. I've had it ever since I was probably 12 or 13. So um, I love it. I'm going to run from there to the MXR Dynacomp. I've actually run this up against the Keeley Comp. And although it's quieter, a little less subtle, and sometimes when you get the output up pretty hot and then the sensitivity all the way up you can kind of overdrive it but um, for what I actually use a compressor for it doesn't matter if it's overdriven um, because I'll either run it with some overdrive to boost a solo uh, or to keep the sustain on a solo or I'll just run it really clean sounding and it it sounds really nice real clean uh, so then it goes from there uh, goes up here to the DoD overdrive preamp 250 this pedal I use solely as an overdrive boost. When I want my overdrive to just kind of crank or when I want it uh, to do a solo, I use this. I don't use this. This is just straight up boost for clean signal. This is boost for overdrive. Um, I usually keep the level right about there and the gain right about there. Um, then I run from this, it runs down here to Boss Super Overdrive. This is a stock uh, one. I want to get the uh, the five star mod done to it, but I just don't have the money right now. Um, clean up a little bit of the the tone and all that kind of stuff. But um, I like this pedal anyway. I ran. I've run this up against um, the Ibanez TS808 reissue, and I like this one better. It's got a little more juice to it. I run from there. Uh, something I just added to my pedal board is the Dan Electro Cool Cat Drive Pedal. This thing rocks. I love it. It's got so much more power. Um, the reason I have two overdrives, you may be, why do you have both? These two do totally different things. This is more of a smooth overdrive. This is a crunchy, hard, rocking overdrive. Uh, not quite a distortion, but um, this gives you power. This gives you finesse. So I run this, and, and sometimes I'll run this one and this one. Sorry about that quick little movement of the camera there. I just got really excited about showing you what I run. Uh, then I run from there, I run to uh, this really old school 90's DOD uh, stereo phaser. Um, and I have it sideways because that's how it fits on my board. But this one, um, uh, the phaser is pretty cool. I'll run a demo of all this, what it sounds like uh, another time, but um, you can control the rate, the speed of the, the phase shift. You can control the depth. That's what I like about this one. And the uh, something's called the regeneration, just how hot it gets. Um, I run from there to the 
uh, CH1 Super Chorus by Boss. I like this pedal. Um, I, I think I like this one better than the Chorus Ensemble. I don't know why, I just do. Then I run it from there to the Boss DD6, not the DD7. Um, I kind of wish I had a DD7, but I bought this one first. And uh, they weren't making the DD5 anymore that has the stomp pedal on it. They made the DD6. And so this one you have to actually press the thing down for two seconds and let it flash green and red for you. And then you do the tap tempo from there. Um, which kind of sucks because that really rate, that really uh, messes up your um, your switch because they're not rated for a, a long life. And so that using the tap tempo on this with the switch as the on and off switch, um, that kind of sucks. But I'm not a big, huge delay guy anyway, but I have to have it on my board just because, hey, it's it's 2000s. So you got to have delay in your music at some point in time. And then, yeah, then you have uh, the Electro Harmonics Holy Grail Reverb, just in case you need a little bit extra room um, or you need to soften up your tone a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it. I do have this Fender tuner running straight out of my volume pedal. Um, the tuner is, uh, it's, it's a tuner, it's whatever. Um, the sucky thing about this tuner is if I have anything hot on my board, this thing, you can hear the digital signal when it goes, when it hits perfectly on it goes quiet, but it's kind of like loud. So, um, I don't know how to remedy that other than buying a different, uh, tuner pedal. But that's how, how I, uh, roll with my pedal board. Um, I use a one spot and then for my Holy Grail I use another uh, Harman Pro thing to power everything. So that's what I run. I always have slide available, extra picks, and some extra space if I want to put something else on here. used to have a DS1 on here, just recently took it off, had no use for it. Um, that's it. That's all I got.